there must be something that is in, in here that makes us successful. And my own analysis is that we are the only people, the only religion who can negotiate with God. Abraham negotiates with God. Moses negotiates with God. And when you can negotiate and bargain with the divine, everything's possible. No limit to what your human brain can do. No limit to what you want to do. No limit to any objective. Having said that, I really think that we have no limit also to addressing this tremendous challenge of changing a narrative that has been going on for the last 63 years by the Arab world, which has invaded our campuses, the media in Europe, and I think that this initiative that we're going to be talking about all day today is going to help us a lot. So in that case, in that context, I'm very pleased to be here today representing justice for Jews from Arab countries, an international coalition representing the interest of the Sephardi Mizrahi Jews and organizations outside of Israel. Je voudrais vous accueillir dans les plusieurs langues qui constituent un petit peu le, le monde uh, Sephardi Mizrahi. Bienvenue à vous tous, mes chers amis. Bienvenidos para los hermanos, hermanas que hablan español. Beruchim abaye nukulanu. At the outset, I would like to pay tribute to three co-sponsors of the conference. Firstly, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, represented here today by Deputy Minister Dania Yellon. Mr. Yellon, Justice for Jews from our countries has been working with every single government since 2001. It is clear that this government has been the most forthcoming, the most supportive, the most successful in promoting the rights of uh, Jewish refugees from Arab countries. This is due in large measure, Mr. Yellon, to your leadership. You have galvanized the entire movement and we, will, and we want to be ready to continue working with you in this amazing, amazing initiative. Second partner is the Ministry of Senior Citizens, represented here today by the Honorable Dr. Lianes. She ha who has played a very important role in assuming responsibility for the documentation and the, the vibrant patrimony of Jews from our countries. And to our partner, the World Jewish Congress, we commend you for taking this initiative to bring this conference to into fruition. We are pleased to have participated with you in this endeavor and look forward to, parting, to partnering with you on many, many, many other initiatives. When we started this project 12 years ago, we were the only organization addressing this agenda. We've tried to work with many other Israeli governments with no success. Having said that, we worked hard put together our energy, and we were quite successful in achieving many, many objectives. We organized par parliamentary hearings. We brought this issue to the human human rights in Geneva, where Regina made a tremendous speech. But our greatest achievement was working with Congressman Joel Nadler on the unanimous adoption recently by the United States House of Representatives of a resolution calling for equal rights for, Jew for Jewish refugees. Congressman Nadler, you will have the, the distinctions of being the catalyst and our overlasting admiration and appreciation for your historic role in promoting equal rights for Jewish refugees. Now we can go to any other countries and say, this is what the US has done. We can go to Prime Minister Harper, God bless this man. God bless this man for what he's doing to help our people. We look forward to continuing working with you on this bill that you have introduced in the House, which seeks to strengthen the U.S. commitment to justice and equity for Jewish refugees.